feeling kind of out of sorts after the holiday. Oh, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a day after Christmas, 3.16 in the afternoon. Um, I'm here... Uh, I won't say wore out. I I never did anything uh, other than playing cards and eating a lot, you know, with family and things over the holiday. But uh, this seems like uh, when you get out of your rhythm and, um, you know, things are changed around, it just sort of puts you out of the, you kind of get a surreal type feeling and you just, you don't feel yourself, I guess is the best way to put it. But uh, I am back. Uh, here on the YouTubes and uh, I have uh, I wanted to go to these last two projects real quick I, I did the uh, Pioneer you guys seen it we, we troubleshoot it uh, we got it working and we put it aside that's pretty much what I did it's sitting out in the kitchen on the uh, little shelf that Kylie wanted with the little drawers or not the little slide drawers whatever they are and that's what she wanted that for was to put radios on things like that so it's sitting out there along with the echo radio the echo uh, primary thing I wanted to do with it was to uh, get that cabinet back in a solid state to where when I can move it around a little bit and not have to worry about it falling apart so that's been done it's it's very solid again so the uh, upcoming things that I'm gonna do with that eh, don't know exactly um, I haven't made up my mind on whether to restore it back to the wood color or to, to do a total uh, modernization, I guess is what it would be. But anyway, that's there or here or whatever. But what, what we're doing here today is I've got a nice clean bench again. And like, what's the next for DERB? And uh, that's a good question. I may do nothing the next few days until after the new year oh that's another thing I do have my car back sitting in the driveway now it's not fixed but it uh, it was fixed enough to get it home and uh, my son-in-law dro dropped it off a little while ago him and his father were uh, working on it and uh, did get the uh, the uh, thermostat couldn't think of the name changed in it but it it's missing a bolt and he's <laughs> He's got it together with a vice grips holding on one side of the uh, housing. So he got it, it was good enough to get it home. It doesn't overheat. So that's good. Um, I, I think what we're going to do is he's got a, a, I won't say a friend, but he knows a couple guys here in town that do work on cars. And he's pretty much let them do his work on stuff like that. And uh, so I think we're going to next week take it to him. And he's going to try to. What it is is the uh, one of the bolts in the housing broke off when he when Randy was trying to take it out, and he's he doesn't know of any good way to drill that out. And the uh, guy, the mechanic guy, is going to go ahead and, and drill that out and get that fixed. So I think that'll be all right. Now the tires are still. He did put a donut on the uh, back wheel there that was going flat all the time, so the, at least the tires are up. And uh, so that's uh, down the road a little ways too because of the holidays again money situation things like that but I'm not worried about it like I said he said you could probably drive it around town I said it's you know if I have to I have to but you know I'm not gonna mess with it unless I have to uh, his little wagon that uh, I was driving uh, and I, I thought this was something I had done but apparently I hadn't uh, he had had this problem before with it uh, where you know he would it would stay charged up and everything and let it sit for a few days and then battery be dead and so he thought it was the battery and he had the battery replaced and it was pretty good as long as I think as long as he was driving it pretty much uh, you know every day and keeping it charged up it was fine and then when I got it I I would let it sit out here in the driveway for a week or so and you know it it would be dead so really that uh, battery didn't fix it and uh, so I, I had loaned him my little uh, amp clamp that I had bought not too long ago and he just called and said he couldn't get that to work I think I think I know the problem with that I think he probably had it on AC um, but you know it's kinda hard to, to tell somebody over the phone how to do this or that so uh, I, I don't know what he's gonna do but he did get the battery charged up enough to where 
it starts and everything so i don't know he'll he said it did go flat on him too so he said you know he knows it's nothing i was doing obviously uh he thought maybe the radio had done it but uh you know things like that i don't think the radio did it uh anyway uh that's either here or there but he's thinking about he, he's thinking about his next move on that see what to do so if he gets that fixed he may bring that back so i'll have something to drive i don't know we'll see not a big deal i don't plan on going anywhere i don't have any plans to do much of anything and uh except for right here on this bench this this bench right here i want to know what i should do and uh, bob had a good suggestion uh before i got the pioneer and got started on that and sidetracked on it and the echo radio but uh and i think that's probably what we'll do is get these uh other projects that are in midstream like uh, like the echo and the pioneer and get to some of the other ones before that like the um uh, heat kit uh, audio generator and get that uh, I've got I think all the parts for that all I have to do is clean that board off and uh, put all the new parts back in it and should be able to get it lined up whatever you need to do um, that and Gary's amplifier I want to like still want to take that out and while, while I do one I'm going to do both of them because it's the same operation on both of them clean the board up get the the old solder off things like that that's what I want to do with Gary's amp too, get all the parts out of it on that one side and uh, clean the uh, connections up and make sure the traces are good and things like that and uh, put new parts back in or well if the parts are good I'll put those back in and if not we'll replace them but I uh, want to get that done so that's what we're we're going to do I think so don't know that I'll get started today I'm still a little bit uh, you guys I don't know if you know I'm not not overly tired just from being out of my element, I guess is what it is, because the last couple of days I spent out uh, at their house, and uh, pretty much uh, all both days I sent out, spent out there, and even though it didn't do anything, I mean, just sitting there, eating and playing cards, things like that, uh, it still just takes a toll on somebody that's used to doing it, you know, a certain way, and, and once you get out of that element, it just, uh, you have to kind of catch up. This morning I, I slept in. I didn't sleep in. I think it was a little after eight time, by the time I got up, but uh, I went ahead and got up then. And I, I didn't go to bed till I know it was it was one o'clock last night because uh, we played cards pretty late. But uh, so, uh, like I said, I needed some some sleep. I knew that, so I, I got up and went in my chair and covered up with my heated throw and had a nice little nap in there. So that helped a little bit, but I'm um, still not quite quite back to normal but uh, I, I may be it may take the rest of the day and maybe even tomorrow I don't know but uh, probably we won't get much going on here until after the first of the year because I've got to do the same thing again um, next weekend or next holiday actually you know week there are week difference in between them so uh, really no no sense in trying to get back to normal before that because it's just gonna throw you back out of whack again uh, Kylie will be here on, uh, I believe, the 2nd through the 5th or something like that, maybe the 6th, I can't remember. They have to go back to Chicago. Uh, my daughter has to have some things checked and, um, I guess, check up on her progress and things like that. But uh, So Kylie will be here. She doesn't have school and or work either one, so we just will be here hanging out. And uh, so that's about all I know about that. So this is kind of a, I hope a mini flap. I don't know how, how, how many minutes I've been talking, but um, well, it's 3:25 uh, now. So, like I said, it's just what's going on. Uh, like I say, if there's anything else I can think of to tell you, I will. I think my, yeah, it's playing. Bluetooth is on the phone there, playing over the bench amp. Um, so, been doing that. Uh, haven't talked much to Bob. Y'all know Bob. Uh, last couple of days, and we talked a little today, not much. I think he's <laughs> he's kind of experiencing the thing, same thing I am, so, you know. Um, just the uh, holiday lag, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I keep finding these strips or these threads from the uh, Echo. I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can. From the... Uh, grill cloth on an echo so 
anyway that's uh like i say uh, that's down the road i'm gonna i'm gonna work on them when i get stuff i've got the parts ordered that i want to put back in that pioneer once i get that orange light um led diffused led i'll put that in and see if that makes a difference and if it doesn't make a difference that's as far as i'm going with it whatever it turns out to be is what it will be so uh get you know i don't want to mess with it because it's just not worth i'm never ever going to get it back to exactly like it was you know to begin with but you know i want to get it as close as possible so and uh, again there's more capacitors in there to change and things like that so that's not going to happen for a while either and uh I don't think I got anything. I've got a couple of uh, eBay items out yet that I ordered. I ordered another one of these, and I'll, I think you can see that one of these holders here. I've been using this with the uh, with this camera here. Oops, like this, and that's been working really good because you know it, it's easy to get in and out, obviously, and it keeps it level and things like that. So. I've got another one of them ordered so I can keep this one in here and I'll have the other one for other things that I need for. Uh, I've got a selfie stick order, ordered coming. I thought, you know, that might be fun to play around with, see what I can do with it, and just to see. And uh, so that's coming. Uh, I don't think there's any parts I have I'm waiting on other than, like I say, I've got my. There's another thing. I can work on these. Um, I can work on the. Uh, the little Radio Shack amp that I was talking about. I've got all the parts for that except for the volume control and I could work on that and uh, I could work on the uh, AM transmitter. I've got all the parts for that. So those things I might be able to do too as far as, as other things I'm going to do after I get this uh, heat kit and Gary's amp going. So that's what's next on the agenda. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, there will be more exciting videos coming. And I was watching, my, my son-in-law got a, a Roku for Christmas, as, uh, my daughter got it for him. And uh, he was playing around with it, uh, watching YouTube videos, and we started look, looking at mine. And uh, the last few videos I've done uh, in here really sucked. <laughs> hey, you guys have been really kind not to say it, but uh, I, I, I looked at these things and I said, wow, that was crappy video. And I'm talking about this echo cabinet that I did. There was no good shots of that at all, and it was really bad. Uh, they wanted to see, you, you all remember the big move. Uh, they wanted to see that with Kylie and Billy uh, helping to move the uh, bench in here, and they watched that. That was fun. So, uh, anyway, that's uh, what we did with that. But he, he, but I just noticed it, you know, when I, I looked at You know, you sometimes you don't really see your your videos as they are you know other people will see them that's the big thing right there and i gotta do some i gotta make some changes and uh, i i just need better camera angles or something and uh, to get a better shot uh, i love the uh, camera boom because it's easy it's it's probably too easy that's probably why i'm getting lazy on that stuff but um i need just more better camera angles to where you can see what i'm working on um so that's that's hopefully in the making, uh, uh, in the the plans and things like that. So again, I'm just jabbering now, and I know I am, and I don't really want to, but uh, I feel 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 the need to make a video every once in a while, and you know this is it. So um, you guys have any suggestions um, for things I should do, could do, you'd like to see, whatever, uh, let me know. Because, you know, I some of the ideas I come up with are not the best. I mean, I knew that, and I know it, you know. So, you know, I, if there's something you'd rather see, I, you know, my, my enjoyment comes from basically making these videos and editing them and, you know, of course, uploading to YouTube is no fun, but, I mean, it's part of the process. But uh, I, probably the editing, I enjoy probably most, most of it. And I've gotten to where uh, those are cookie cutters anymore. You know, I've got the uh, title screens. And I do all that, and I record my little blurb about what the video is and things like that. And I can I can do that so fast now. It's just you know it's like automatic. And uh, so that's one of the, one of the reasons I used to change these things up all the time and uh, make them different, the intros and things like that. But uh, anywho, that's just the way I'm doing. Also, I was looking at the uh, uh, Google about the the easiest video editors to use 
not for me I, I like I like video pad and that was listed as one of the uh, best for YouTube um, you know some people don't think that but uh, you know I think it's easy to use and of course you know somebody that's not familiar with it wouldn't 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 agree and I understand that but uh, I was trying to look for some that's easy to use for beginners or I don't call certain people beginners, but I mean they're they're not they're not used to using advanced features. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, and see any more the things that I do with VideoPad, uh, the the little picture in picture things like that. Those are not advanced really anymore. Those are are commonplace. And uh, you know anybody that uh, that's any good at all, you know, with a video editor, video editor can usually do those pretty easy. And uh, so, you know, I, I, I don't know. I guess th there's just a certain um, ability you have to have to do them things. And, you know, I, I kind of take that for granted, I guess. But, you know, um, I, if I wish I knew how to help people that don't know how to do that, but I don't, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a teacher. Uh, and if I could ever did stumble on a good uh, video tutorial, that would teach in a, in a way that people can understand. Most of the ones you see out there are the ones like I do, and they're they're crappy because those people aren't teachers. <laughs> Let's face it. And uh, until you have somebody that's good working with somebody who's not familiar with what they're working with, because a lot of them take a, or take the attitude that you you know how to use a, the thing. It's just they're showing you specifics on how to do it. But, you know, people that, it, it's a little intimidating to people who don't know how to do it. And uh, so, you know, they have to kind of have to uh, wing it, I guess. And there's not a lot of detailed instructions. I think it should be done um, in stages, or that's my feeling about it, to where, you know, you learn basic things first, and then you learn just a little bit of the uh, fancy stuff, I guess is what you'd call it. And until you, you know, use that for a while until you get, you know, feel comfortable using it and then move on to the next thing. And, you know, for somebody to just jump in and try to do all this at once, it's it's a little intimidating. I understand that. So uh, that's uh, my thoughts on that. Whew, I know I'm just jabbering, jabbering, jabbering. I didn't mean to turn in this to turn into one of them flapping videos, but you know how it goes. So... <laughs> All right, now it's 3.34, so uh, you guys, uh, you have a pleasant day. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later.